Besides using the safety pit, straps, and other drills to teach back giants, the skill can be introduced to young and small gymnasts swinging with the legs bent on a low bar. Though there are some technical differences between bent leg and straight leg giants, beginning on a low rail helps gymnasts to become more familiar with the skill. One of the first steps is assisting the gymnast to bail slow from a handstand to a small swing. Check the coach's spot on the arm and the legs to slow down the bail. And then under the horizontal he lets the gymnast swing and grabs the other arm. Notice how the coach brings his head down when spotting both arms. If the gymnast rips forward he will be able to offer a fair safety assistance without his head being pulled against the rail. In this clip, the gymnast is showing a very common mistake, an arched bail. Until the gymnast have mastered a better straight or hollow bail, they should not move to more difficult drills. Besides the arched bail, the gymnast must not bend the legs beyond a 90 degrees angle, and the coach must have tested the gymnast hanging down with the legs bent to be completely sure that the knees will not hit the floor while coming down. Look again at an incorrect early arched position to bail down compared with a better hollow position. And now the gymnast once more shows the early arched bail mistake. This is a second progressive step where the coach lets go of the arm and legs and catches the free falling bail instead of slowing down the whole drill. In this slow motion notice how the gymnast tops the hands off the bar when bailing down. Though the hands have to move onto a safe bail down position with a straight line between the wrist and the arms, the gymnast do not need to hop off the bar to accomplish the right grip position. Look at the hands hop off the bar at regular speed. And now the same free bell down drill with a better body position. Correct close to 90 degrees legs bend and safe hands roll to straight wrist in relation to arms without a big hop. In this new step, the coach changes spotting position standing on the opposite side of the bar, then after helping to cast handstand and shape the gymnast's abdominum and lower back, he grabs the nearest wrist under the bar while the gymnast is free bailing down, and uses his other arm on the stomach to slow down the swing at the bottom. Notice how in this drill the gymnast is bending the knees a little too much to start bailing down, but her body position and wrist motions are fair. To spot a single giant around, the coach spots the first part of the bail the same way as the previous drill. And when the gymnast swings through the bottom, instead of stopping the swing, he lets the swing go up and places his hand on the lower back to help the giant to return to the handstand approximately when the gymnast's body is close to the horizontal. He lets go of the wrist and places his hand on the abdomen to help bring the gymnast back to the handstand and stop the body from collapsing to the rail. Observe when the coach releases the gymnast to start the giant how fast he moves his hand under the bar to acquire a good firm grip on the gymnast's wrist. And then after the gymnast swings safely through the bottom and is already going up, the hand on the wrist joins the hand pushing the lower back to stabilize the giant's last part. To spot two giants after helping the gymnast back to the handstand, all the spotting actions are repeated. Along the way, the coaches must combine spotting with other drills and instructions to correct any early technical mistakes. As an example, on the way up, this young gymnast is opening the chest out instead of tapping to a more hollow position. Take a closer look at some of the coach's spotting actions. The hand that spots holding the gymnast's wrist always grabs it under the bar 